What is up guys and welcome back. So I've decided to launch a secondary channel, a sister channel, if you will, dedicated solely to the Pirates of the Caribbean Tides of War. Now I'm going to be doing guides or video guides on absolutely every aspect of the game that I can think of. And I currently have a laundry list of guides that I want to do. But for the initial guide, I'm going to be taking you through the merchant ships and the trading uh, process and telling you the most valuable resources that one can farm from those merchant ships. So let's get into it. All right, guys, for starters, I want to show you the one, two or three star rule when it comes to the merchant ships. And I can explain why. So with the coral nine and 13 and the ivory between four and eight. Now, as you will see in a second. I got almost the max amount there. And between four and eight for this one at three stars, I got four. So as you can see, it is very, very random, but there is just more chance of you getting the highest amount if you do do three stars. So let me just do one more ship here at a lesser amount. Let me cut to a, let me go find one quickly. Give me a second. Well, here's another quick example. There is a ruby over here. Now, the reason why I'm in this area is because it is packed with ruby, glass, ivory, as well as some ore, which is not as good. But uh, even though these are very weak ships, or low, low-grade ships, it's still worth packing up your storehouse with just these items because you will get a bucket load of, of um, silver for each one. So I'm going to send that off there quickly. And I'm still trying to find a merchant ship where I can get less than one. Oh, another one. I'll take that. Actually, let's do it for the sake of the video. I'll send again my weakest ship and see if I can get less than three stars or even two stars. So for this one, between 9 and 13 still for a level 23. And this one I sent three ships, so I'm definitely going to get three stars for that one. And to get three stars, it tells you here that you achieve three stars with less than 1% reduced durability, which is pretty much your ship health. Okay, so I'm just about to hit a level 30 merchant ship here with only two ships. Now you can get between 15 and 19. Let's see what I get. Hopefully I get less than three stars this time. So as you can see, two stars. I still got 20 so that's just a, a lucky a lucky shot really and this particular one between 25 and 29 and this one I got 28 and only two stars so again this is quite a lucky hit because I could have got more maybe if I had three stars and that's just the general consensus with that and after a while you'll know how many ships you need to send for a particular level so for this one I would normally send three ships to make sure I get three stars which in turn gives me a better chance for the maximum amount of goods. One quick other little tip here. As you can see, my trade storehouse is 303,000 full. And I currently have three ships returning full of trade goods, which is going to over max my capacity. But just so you know, you can actually send off more ships together before those ones return. Once those guys return, you'll have maxed out. You won't be able to send out any more ships. Now, normally I would never send a unique ship on any of these kind of battles because to repair these sometimes you have to use essence but that is a story for another time okay let's get into the trade goods here once these guys get back all right so my guys are back let's have a look here now as you can see the max capacity is way over max but it doesn't matter like i said before it just means you can't farm for any more merchant ships until you've actually sent out some ships so we're going to stick with the let's go with the coral on this one now on my research of the last couple of days the highest i've gotten for the coral was like 837 and now it's gone to 918 so again this can be very 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 random now you can click down here your trade info you can click on this hopefully getting information on a port and increasing that price now if you want to do it manually you can go through each one until you get to one that actually will accept coral, which let's just find one quick sticks here. There, 918. So that's probably the one it's going to be sending off to, Porto Soto. Now you can keep on going three, see 939 on the Rosa, which is going to be a better one. So let's see what it says when I send it off or attempt to send it off. It's going to say Porto Soto. So now I could, like I was saying before, manually go to Ile de Rosa and there's 939 so I can manually send that particular one to that port and get much more for it now this is not something you're going to do all the time because normally you would come in here you would go set sail and you would just send them off 
and they'll actually go through it manually. Now you can get a fair amount more, but like I mentioned, you're probably not going to do this manually. You're going to go through it and you're just going to select like this and you're going to have multiple resources or merchant goods sending to a single port. And this is when sometimes it'll select that one that is a little bit less per sale because you can send both of them. But after a while, you just will send them off to the one that they're going to auto select you. Now you can also, once you've actually gone to send these off, if you go to your, let's have a look down here, to your alliance page over here, you can click further down to trade info and anything that you've, any port at least that you've sent ships to, you can post alliance info for your buddies, for your alliance members, and they will be auto selected when they send their uh, goods off the most valuable port per sale. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple of other aspects regarding the merchant ships and the trade goods. If you select on your trade goods and you select set sale, on the bottom left corner down here, you're going to see an automatic sell. Now, there's nothing more you can do at the port. So just have this ticked all the time so your guys will return to your island as soon as they've sold the goods. And you will only get your silver once they return. At the same time, you'll be increasing your mace level when it comes to the trading goods. But I'm going to do another video on um, all the mace levels and how to upgrade them and how to farm them, actually, to get them stronger and stronger. So... Let's have a look at other things here. So on your Cave of Treasures, you're gonna have the ability to add some buffs. So these ones over here, you could increase your void speed, boost your pirate attack, and increase survival rate of your pirates. Now this is something that you could do before any attack or any merchant ships or even hunting monsters. The other thing is if you're an R4 or higher in your alliance, or if you get an R4 to activate it for you, you can go to your alliance skills here and you can increase the voyage speed trade prep right there of your trade ships making the journey just a little bit quicker and there's lots of other ones and again this is something for another video now another way to buff your uh, merchant speed is going to be in your territory right here these are all the buffs that you can put on your territory and if you scroll all the way down you're going to get to the trade void speed and over here you're going to have a host of items you can choose to increase the void speed of your trading goods and again, it's the same as doing the activation skill, but with this one, you're going to be using a scroll or actually buying it using gold. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to take you through the most valuable resources when it comes to this game. So for starters, in the description, there's going to be a list of three of the amounts that I've accumulated over the months. And these are going to be the highest prices I've discovered for the top, I think it's top 16 Um resources for when it comes to merchant ships normally i would only stick to my top five or six which is going to be the ivory the pitchers the statue pottery pearl coral glass and ruby so that's the top eight that i would normally only ever farm for and especially this area that i'm in now is quite a high quantity of that so if you look in the description guys you're going to get a list of all those ones and the most valuable resources to get from those trading merchant ships so guys this is going to be the end of my first video on my brand new channel so any questions you have just ask i'm always going to reply so guys i want to say thank you so much for watching and i'm going to catch you on the next one